welcome back to the Strattery Closet. Right now we're going to be doing news and code cards. If you want to see the code cards and you don't care anything about the news, skip the news. For all I care, you probably just want these. Now if you want to hear the news and the code cards, you still will probably get both, just don't skip anything. First off, video. When I'm videotaping myself open Pokemon cards, which I've only done once, it's like me opening them, looking at them, putting them here. Me opening them, looking at them, taking the code card out, putting it there for later, and then putting them here. It's terrible. It's completely terrible. I'm so sorry that you had to watch a video like that, which was actually the last video I made, which I'll explain more about. Um, but I need my video camera. This little thing right here is so old that even Movie Maker won't support its stupid files. Now, it's not like it won't it won't give me picture, it will give me sound though. I've tried everything. I've tried converting files, don't give me your um explanations and stuff and how to do it because I've tried everything and the only thing that works is downloading the software and I'm gonna research it. And don't worry, once I find it we will have regular normal opening packs, not the crappy version that I had to do. Now as for now, though, you're probably going to have to deal with that one video that I made of me opening packs. Now, we're actually going to talk about that video. Um, it was about two hours ago when I made it, and I opened four booster packs. Three of them which were XY Furious Fists, one of them was Legendary Treasures. Yes, I did mention that I weigh it, but I weighed it incorrectly. See, I used this kind of this kind of scale. The uh, problem with this is that it doesn't have a decimal point, meaning you need to see in the decimals to be able to weigh booster packs. We were completely lucky, guys, meaning that I just picked after I was done because I realized that this wasn't working, this thing was basically garbage for weighing booster packs. For the kitchen stuff, it's totally great, but that's why it's my mom's and not mine. Um, I'm going to be getting one, though, weighing my own booster packs. I might open a few that I already weighed. I'll tell you if I weighed them or not. Um, don't worry. Anyway, yeah, if you're gonna buy one, a, a weight that you're gonna weigh Pokemon booster packs with, make sure it has the decimal point and you're able to weigh in grams with decimal points and stuff. Anyway, um, moving on. Oh, most of you are probably gonna be like, you evil scum, you weigh booster packs. You're running the chance for all this. Yes, yes I do. I'm sorry. I feel bad now. Uh, but I mean, everybody can do it, so why not? Um, on to the next thing, which I think should be the code cards. We might actually have some extra news. I'm trying to remember if we have any news. Oh, besides that. Yeah, I'll also be doing a tutorial video on how to weigh Pokemon cards. Booster packs. Um, and I will be getting a new scale, some other stuff, and we will be opening more booster packs. Also, most of you are going to be like, yes, you definitely weighed them. You couldn't have gotten a full art and a full art EX, uh, hollow, and a regular, well, a full art and full art EX and a hollow. Three out of four booster packs were great. Now, yes, I actually got did get those pools. Watch the video; they were amazing pools. But um, no, I did not weigh them the correct way. I just grabbed six, four off the shelf, I think, actually, and took them back home and opened them. And we got amazing pools. Watch that video. Um, now for the code cards, we're gonna do the first one: X Y Furious Fists. Enjoy about those cards, though. Probably got some awesome pools in there too. Another XY Furious Fists. And yet another XY Furious Fists. And another. And Legendary Treasures. And the Legendary Treasures. And if you're wondering, no, I did not use any of these codes. And a Primal Clash. Um, but I still do play the game. The problem with, um, having a YouTube channel and playing the game at the same time when you're giving away codes, you don't get to keep them all for yourself. But, when I, um, wasn't playing the game, right? More news, sorry. Um, I'm just rambling now. When I wasn't playing the game and I was opening booster packs, I always kept all my codes in my drawer, and I had, like, a stack of them this big. And I didn't have a YouTube channel when I redeemed them all, but I just went crazy one day and redeemed every single one. So now my Pokemon collection on there, I am on level 2, and I have over a thousand Pokemon cards on that thing. No joke, and it's hilarious. Um, 
another thing though video yes the video will be working very soon don't worry and we will also be putting me opening an elite trainer booster box and that's it for today guys shadow rayquaza out goodbye